Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a retwist on starter locks. These were started as coils and many of you have requested to see a retwist on coils. So here we are. Before we even get started, I wanna say make sure that you are subscribed. I'm on the road to 50,000 subscribers and there are so many of you who watch my videos but haven't yet clicked that button. So make sure you do that. And let's go ahead and get right into it. This is my client's hair after I washed it. As you all know, I do two washes and one conditioner all of my starter lot clients and I have videos on my page of my wash process also and I'll link some below if you want to look at that in this video I just wanted to get straight into the retwist I'm gonna seal in the moisture from that wash with Froichi believe it's butter this is a very lightweight butter that just melts right down into the hair so perfectly and also adds to the shine that we'll have in the end so I'm working that all the way through her hair and even giving her a nice massage my clients love this part I even make sure to get on the ends and really just work it all in there before I get started. This is going to help me also separate her hair. So because I know that she's getting the half up half down style, I'm going to go ahead and just separate the pieces in the front that will need to be, you know, in that half up part. And this is going to help me just keep it separated with a looser texture. Sometimes the roots can start to merge together as you are working and as the hair is drying a little bit so putting them in sections just helps to prevent that and keep the hair separated as much as possible i work usually in like two to three rows at a time just to make sure i'm not continuously taking her hair in and out of the ponytail and it helps me to move faster so i'm working on this first row a lot of people ask me if it's easy to see the parts after, you know, a wash on some starter locks and it's not that hard. As you can see, even in her hair, you can see where the locks are. It's just my job to go in and clean everything up. And even as I'm cleaning things up, you can tell that I'm not pulling the, the hair apart or yanking it apart. It's, I am moving hair that is already pretty much separated and just putting it where it's supposed to go. I see some videos where people are like yanking the hair apart to the point where the, it's painful for the client and you can see some tension happening. There's no need to do that. Use the comb to find the hair that's been misplaced and just put it where it needs to go. And so I'm on the second row retwisting. Her hair doesn't have a lot of frizz at this back part so you can tell I'm not doing a lot of wrapping the frizz around because there is not much. I'm just using my hands to roll the hair and then also clip it down to the towel to really secure it and stretch the hair. I use my fingers a lot, the pads of my fingers as I'm retwisting to give it a more smooth look. And that always helps in the end with styling, with just laying the hair down as flat as possible. And also without tension, you can see even when I'm smoothing the hair, it's very gentle. There's no need to be rough. And with Afro textured hair, we know our hair can break easily. so. We gotta be gentle. So even here, you can see more of that separating. Very gentle. None of the hair has been raked apart. It's coming apart. I usually switch over to the comb retwist technique when I actually have enough space between the scalp and where the hair is locked to actually rotate the comb. If you are using the comb where there isn't a whole lot of new growth, it will be painful. You will get the comb tangled up in the hair and everything. So you will see me kind of switching back and forth between the palm row and the comb retwist technique is really just what my hands are doing after all these years of doing it it it's just comes natural to me i casually switch back and forth between the two in this next lock i'm definitely going to show you the amount of space between the root and where the hair is locked that gives me enough space to actually rotate the comb a couple times and remove it safely without snagging the hair. I 
as far as products i flashed very quickly at the beginning of the video the orange jar of the shine and jam gel i've been using it for over two years now and it is amazing it's cost effective and it doesn't leave any buildup on my client's scalp and as you can even see here there's not a lot of product oozing out of the locks as some other videos that i've seen online you want to make sure that there's just not too much product in there this product is water soluble so a good wash is going to get it out but you don't want to make it harder for your client and you just don't need that much gel if you're doing the right technique here i'm getting up to the front so you'll see the only difference in these areas is that i am going to be clipping the hair back because the hair is already going to the back the style will look much neater and you'll see that at the end as i'm styling her hair before I put the wrapping strips and I knew that you wanted the two locks to hang at the front so I twisted those towards the front like we mentioned and I'm just going to secure everything down in the front with these wrap strips so that it dries and lays perfectly the wrap strips kind of help to absorb a lot of that moisture at the front and just leave it real sleek after about 30 minutes under the dryer on medium heat, she is all good to go. And I definitely make sure that her hair is completely dry when we are leaving some locks out in the back or wherever, because you want them to stay in place and not to start to shrink up at the root. So her locks are looking amazing. Her curly ends are still there, even though we did the wrapping technique on a lot of the areas. And we're just finishing it off with some finishing spray. And yeah, we're going to get into the style. Now, while I style her hair in this barrel twist style, half up, half down into one pony's hill, I just want to take the time to thank you all so much for your support on my channel. You have been keeping my comments um, active and giving me, you know, questions in the comments. I love those. Not only am I able to help you in the comments, but I'm also able to come up with new ideas for videos, for topics to go more in depth on. So yeah, please comment below if you have any questions on anything that I did in this video or any suggestions for future videos. I asked her if anything hurts as I do for everyone. And she said no, so we're revealing it to her. 
She is two months in at the point of this video and everything is looking great.